Hey, welcome to our episode of Chad's Beer Reviews. We got the annual Schmaltz Terrapin Reunion Ale 2015 edition. The first time ever in almost 20 years, Schmaltz finally made a beer with pumpkin in it. Uh, it's not a pumpkin ale per se. They're calling it a Belgian-style ale with pumpkin, chocolate, cocoa nibs, cinnamon, vanilla, ginger, and Mexican chili pepper. And they actually make a point of saying on the back here, it would focus. This is not just another pumpkin ale. There you go. So I don't really know what to make of it. Um, I had a sample of it a few days ago at the brewery. It was really good. Pretty nice to sit down and, and review, give a formal review to the whole bottle. So let's give it an aroma here or appearance. You know, it looks, it, I don't know what it looks like on your end, but it's just a really, really dark brown, not really a black like a stout, but like a super deep like mahogany or ruby red, something like that. It kind of it smells like a pumpkin beer, but it's also because it has all those other uh, flavors in here. You know, cinnamon, vanilla, ginger. Those gonna be in like your average everyday pumpkin beer. So you get a lot of those in here. I don't really get chocolate per se. I definitely get like vanilla. Um, it smells pretty sweet. I don't really get a lot of Belgian yeast ester. I mean, maybe like kind of like that. Like kind of floral, you know, yeast esters. Like it's not huge banana or, or spice or anything like that. So let's give it a taste here. Cheers. See, I don't know how to categorize this either. I mean, the base palette is very familiar to any kind of more higher end pumpkin beer. More of the potpourri pumpkin, not the, it's not pumpkin pie. It's not a pumpkin clone. It's not very, it's not super sweet, but it's, so it's more, you know, spicy, kind of like dances on the tongue a little. Um, but I definitely got, like the cinnamon and ginger, I think are the most prominent. Kind of get a little vanilla on the finish. Yeah, so up front, I can get like a little bit, you know, it's starting to kind of slow that time. Uh, get a little bit like that chili pepper they're talking about. It's a very, very mild kind of pepper sensation. And I think it's actually more cinnamon than it is pepper. Yeah, so there's a little bit of spiciness in this. Um, so it's like spicy up front and then kind of sweet on the back end. I get like a little bit of that, um, the, the vanilla, the vanilla beans for sure. Kind of the, the cocoa nib, um, chocolate, kind of like, um, like the aftertaste you would get like eating, eating a candy bar. I kind of get the Belgian quality, like right as it finishes, right after I swallow, I can kind of exhale and get that kind of Belgian yeast ester, uh, slight kind of floral thing going. This is an interesting beer. I mean, it's hard to classify. Um, I mean, a lot of people are putting it under a pumpkin yam beer. Um, I don't think it's quite, you know, it's, I don't think it's it's not pumpkiny enough to be a pumpkin beer. It's not Belgian enough to be a Belgian strong dark ale. I think you could just either put it under Spicer, Vegetable, or American strong ale. So the mouthfeel is, you know, it's kind of thin. Um, I would not call it watery. It's It's really smooth, though. I was hoping for like a more bigger body or something like really like intensely Belgian. Uh, I would not call it refreshing. It's it's not like a thick, sticky, chewy beer like some kind of um, you know like Imperial Stout or something like that, which I would be fine with if it was. It's just kind of um, you know it's eight percent ABV, but it feels more like a five to six percent ABV beer. I mean, there's like a little bit of um, alcohol warmth in here. I think that's accentuated by the the ginger. Is it uh, cinnamon? Well, there's ginger in here. Gin, you know, cinnamon, ginger, and Mexican chili pepper. Um, so you get like a little bit of a warming sensation right as it goes down. Yeah, this is good. It's really interesting. Um, I like it. So let's rate it on rate beer. Uh, for aroma, I mean, I think it smells good. It doesn't smell like great but it smells good i mean it smells like a pumpkin beer you know it's good uh i will give it a, an 8 out of 10 i think it might be a little generous appearance i think i'm gonna go kind of low on this because it really didn't produce much of a head and it's not you know leaving any lace or anything like that the color is kind of dull like it's more of like a brown instead of like a copper amber ruby red something like that um yeah i'll go three out of five on appearance uh, taste, I, I'm going to go 8 out of 10. I think it tastes, you know, good. And it's it's really interesting because it's so complex and the flavors are good. 
I think this is really versatile too. Like you can drink this either as a dessert beer or like with like a hearty meal. Like I could have this like with a steak because like the the spicy kind of combinations I think would play off something really savory like that. Or the sweetness from the chocolate and the vanilla would um, you know match up with any kind of dessert, especially pumpkin pie, something like that. Um, yeah, uh, eight out of ten. Palette. Um, I think the mouth feels like a little thin. Actually, yeah, it's definitely too thin the mouth feel, and it's a little undercarbonated. I think, um, although it is really easy to drink. I mean, this is an eight percent ABV. Um, you know, twenty-two ounce bottle. I'm gonna have no problem finishing this myself. Um, so it's not like it like sits like a brick on me. Um, so I kind of split the difference and go four out of five. Overall, uh, 15 out of 20 for sure. That's a 3.8 out of five on rate beer scale, which is a, a eight out of 10 on my scale. It's you know, it's a, I think it's a very good beer. I think this this could have been excellent or even outstanding, but you know, for what it is, it's you know, it's still really good. It's only eight bucks for this bottle. It's definitely worth the eight bucks. So if you see this, buy it because it benefits you know um, the Institute for Melanoma and ba Bone Cancer Research. So it's going to a good cause. So there you go. 8 out of 10 for the Schmaltz Terrapin 2015 Reunion Ale. Um, that was it for this episode of Chad's Beer Reviews. Thanks to you guys out there for watching. I will see you next time. Cheers.